Abu Zaid al-Baqi, Wikipedia article audio Abu Zaid Ahmed ibn Sal Baqi was a Persian Muslim polymath, a geographer, mathematician, physician, psychologist, and scientist. Born in 850 CE in Shamstian, in the province of Balkh, Khorasan, he was a disciple of Al-Kindi. He was also the founder of the Bach School of Terrestrial Mapping in Baghdad. Of the many books ascribed to him in the al firist by Ibn al-Nadim, one can note the excellency of mathematics, on certitude in astrology. His figures of the climates consisted chiefly of geographical maps. He also wrote the medical and psychological work, Masali al-Abdan wa al-Anfas. Works Figures of the Regions His figures of the regions consisted chiefly of geographical maps. It led to him founding the Bach School of Terrestrial Mapping in Baghdad. The geographers of this school also wrote extensively of the peoples, products, and customs of areas in the Muslim world, with little interest in the non-Muslim realms. In Islamic psychology, the concepts of mental health and mental hygiene were introduced by Abu Zayd al-Baqi, who often related it to spiritual health. In his Masali al-Abdan wa al-Anfas, he was the first to successfully discuss diseases related to both the body and the soul. He used the term al-Tib al-Ruhani to describe spiritual and psychological health, and the term Tib al-Kalb to describe mental medicine. He criticized many medical doctors in his time for placing too much emphasis on physical illnesses and neglecting the psychological or mental illnesses of patients, and argued that since man's construction is from both his soul and his body, therefore, human existence cannot be healthy without the ishtibak of soul and body. He further argued that if the body gets sick, the nafs loses much of its cognitive and comprehensive ability and fails to enjoy the desirous aspects of life and that if the nafs gets sick, the body may also find no joy in life and may eventually develop a physical illness. al baqa traced back his ideas on mental health to verses of the Quran and hadiths attributed to Muhammad, such as In their hearts is a disease. Truly in the body there is a morsel of flesh, and when it is corrupt the body is corrupt, and when it is sound the body is sound. Truly, it is the Kalb. Verily Allah does not consider your appearances or your wealth in but he considers your hearts and your deeds. Sustenance for Body and Soul Abu Zayd al-Baqi was the first to differentiate between neurosis and psychosis and the first to classify neurotic disorders and pioneer cognitive therapy in order to treat each of these classified disorders. He classified neurosis into four emotional disorders, fear and anxiety, anger and aggression, sadness and depression, and obsession. He further classified three types of depression, normal depression or sadness, endogenous depression originating from within the body, and reactive clinical depression originating from outside the body. He also wrote that a healthy individual should always keep healthy thoughts and feelings in his mind in the case of unexpected emotional outbursts in the same way drugs and first aid medicine are kept nearby for unexpected physical emergencies. He stated that a balance between the mind and body is required for good health and that an imbalance between the two can cause sickness. Al-Baqi also introduced the concept of reciprocal inhibition, which was reintroduced over a thousand years later by Joseph Walp in 1969. The Muslim physician Abu Zayd al-Baqi was a pioneer of psychotherapy, psychophysiology, and psychosomatic medicine. He recognized that the body and the soul can be healthy or sick, or balanced or imbalanced, 
and that mental illness can have both psychological and slash or physiological causes. He wrote that imbalance of the body can result in fever, headaches, and other physical illnesses, while imbalance of the soul can result in anger, anxiety, sadness, and other mental symptoms. He recognized two types of depression, one caused by known reasons such as loss or failure, which can be treated psychologically through both external methods and internal methods, and the other caused by unknown reasons such as a sudden affliction of sorrow and distress, which persists all the time, preventing the afflicted person from any physical activity or from showing any happiness or enjoying any of the pleasures which may be caused by physiological reasons and can be treated through physical medicine. He also wrote comparisons between physical disorders with mental disorders, and showed how psychosomatic disorders can be caused by certain interactions between them. Mental Health and Mental Illness Cognitive and Medical Psychology and Cognitive Therapy Psychophysiology and Psychosomatic Medicine Sources